Hi and welcome to the Software PA team. I'm you, Maslin Tolm. In this video, I will continue to talk about how to connect the new DM1000 and DM1200 displays from Danfoss to Danfoss Plus One Service Tool. If you like a basic introduction, please watch video number 70, Basics of Connection DM1X00 to Plus One Service Tool. First, we will have a look at the Wi-Fi station mod. For Wi-Fi access point, please see the basic video for connecting the DM1X002 service tool. First, I create a Wi-Fi access point on my mobile phone and use Jonas Mobile as SSID and use a simple password 12345678. In plus one guide, I go to the outputs page and to the Wi-Fi page, where I enable Wi-Fi station mode and change SSID and the password to match the one I set for my mobile phone Wi-Fi access point. I'm downloading the program and opening up the plus one service tool. We can now see the interlink connection for Wi-Fi and can connect to it. By using uh, the automatically generated P1D file, we can look at the parameters available. For example, we can see here that the signal level is changing slightly over time. Now we will take a look at how to set up a basic Bluetooth connection from the DM1200 to my computer. In Plus One Guide, we go to the Outputs and Bluetooth. I enable Bluetooth and for our example, I enable auto pairing. That is actually not recommended due to security reasons. I enter the MAC address for my PC's Bluetooth interface. You can find this MAC address by opening up the control panel. Check the properties for Bluetooth. Here we find the MAC address that I filled in into the plus one guide. For being able to do some simple debugging, I add a checkpoint to show the status. I have attached the Plus One service tool to the DM1200 via the USB interlink and power up the DM1200 again. The PC finds out that the DM1200 wants to set up a connection and I accept. You can follow the status in the service tool and see that we have established a Bluetooth connection. This video only touched some basic settings for set up a wireless connection from the DM1200 to a PC. For a more advanced handling, please see the application interface for the available signals in the OS to use in your applications. Watch out for coming videos on this subject on our YouTube channel and thank you for listening.